laboratory experiment, you're going to have six unknown solutions. And so what you'll notice is I'm going to have out on the lab bench dropper bottles with specific numbers. And your job is to figure out, using your solubility rules and double replacement reactions, is to figure out the identity of all six of those solutions. Now, the first thing that you should do for this lab is notice that some of them are going to be colorful. And so what you can do before you start the lab is research the color of these six solutions. If one of them has a very specific or distinctive color, then you can figure out its identity without even having to do a reaction. And so you'll be able to figure out a couple of these simply based on their color. Okay? If you're not able to figure out their identity, or if you want a test to figure out the identity of other solutions, what you will then do is you're going to combine drops of each solution and note in this data table what you observe. So for example, I'm going to take my watch glass and I'm going to add two drops of number one. So I'm going to add one, two, okay. and then I'm going to add two drops of solution number three. And anything that I observe in this, I'm going to record. So one, two. So then make sure that you look at it really carefully. So if you look at this, notice a yellow solid formed. And so what I'm going to do in my notes is I'm going to write for one and three yellow solid forms. And I'm going to be able to use this information later on when I'm trying to figure out the identity of each of these substances. Notice one and three here is crossed out. That's simply so that you're not doing the same thing twice, the same reaction twice. So there's one and three, I note that. And now you need to take all the other solutions and fill in these tables. And then based on this information and the information you got based on color, you'll be able to figure out the six unknown solutions.